Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have the Cold Steel Storm Cloud. Now a really quick shout out to Jimmy Slash for sending this in to get it customized. And if you guys haven't seen Jimmy Slash's videos, uh, I highly recommend to check him out. He does some, uh, some really cool tests and experiments with the Cold Steel knives. But I'll leave a link down below where you guys can go check out his channel. But today we are gonna be doing some work on this little guy. Compared to other Cold Steels, it is it's a little bit smaller. Really quick before we get into it, I'll throw the specs up on screen and we'll get right into it. So we have a Spanto style blade made of CPM 20 CV, so you're getting a really good steel. We have a thumb pad for deployment and it acts as a weight feature out of pocket. The blade is riding on phosphorus bronze washers. And of course you have that famous triad lock, so it's a really, really solid lockup. I believe the scales are a carbon fiber layered G10 in black, and you do have a black G10 backspacer and a reversible non-deep carry pocket clip. So the ergos on this knife are surprisingly good. It's a very thin knife, but it's got a very simple finger groove section down here at the bottom, so it does fit very, very well in hand. And this gap right here in the front is is large enough. I wouldn't really call it a finger choil, but you can choke up on the front of the knife there a little bit, get a little bit better down pressure cuts. And even a reverse grip is really, really comfortable. And the pocket clip is not a hot spot since it's fairly thin and it doesn't poke up too much here in the front. And the only issue I had really was, and it's not, it's not really too big of an issue, but the spine of the blade is very, very sharp. And it's not going to cut me or anything, but it just it's just something I noticed. And it's not something I would have seen on an Italian-made knife, so it's very interesting. The changes I'm going to be doing on this knife are going to be the scales. I will be using natural canvas micarta. But an interesting thing about the material that Jimmy Slash chose was he wanted to order the thinner stuff. As you guys can see, this is very thick but I guess he kind of rushed the order. He wasn't looking at what he was doing, which is fine. We've all been there, but he bought a big block of it. Luckily, my brother had a saw and we were able to cut little slabs out of it. So I got two slabs. And what's really cool about it is you actually get the other angle of the natural canvas micarta. So you see the wave pattern instead of this pattern, your normal natural canvas micarta. You get that side view. Basically it's like G-Carta but the natural canvas. So I think it's gonna look really good on the knife. And the other thing is Mr. Slash wants a lanyard hole either right smack dab in the middle of the pocket clip, this little flat section, or I was considering putting one here in the back. But enough talking about it, let's let's get into taking it apart and see what we got going on on the inside. So here it is all taken apart. Now this standoff was a little stubborn, but I'll take this off down in the shop. And here is our backspacer, which I think I can remove the material and just create a little hidden lanyard hole. So I think that should work. And it's pretty much a basic setup as any other cold steel. So let's get down to the shop and start customizing it.
All right, so here it is all finished. And really quick before we get into the scales, I just wanted to point out that this material was cut from the same block, but I don't know why one is lighter than the other, as you guys can see right here. When I applied the oil, one came out darker, and this one's a little bit lighter. So mm, I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, that is, that's just interesting. But the backspacer that I wanted to use as the, I guess the backspacer to create that hole for the lanyard, uh, I just figured I'd make a brand new backspacer out of the same material. And I extended it out just a little bit and created a hole for the lanyard hole. So you guys can see, here's the original to the new one. And then you have that little extended part right back here. And then also I crowned the top of the backspacer, you know, just to give it that Italian-esque feel since this knife is made in Italy. And the only real issue that I'm, I think I'm gonna have is that I hope this material is strong enough uh, to withstand the open and close action of the triad lock or mainly the, the tension bar you do have that steel insert or rod that goes into the scale and it keeps that tension from breaking this little little piece here but if this does fail uh, Mr. Slash can send it over and I will uh, make a stronger and better backspacer but this seems to be doing the job so far I mean nothing's really breaking so like I said I hope I hope nothing happens and another thing I did was I replaced the old washers since they were they were very thin and I noticed when tightening the pivot they would actually pinch the scales would pinch against the blade and it just it didn't have enough gap so I replaced the washers with these ones here uh, I just got these off of a off of a bench made that just wasn't being used so I'm just going to replace that it it fills up that gap and it makes the blade just a lot better but Enough talking about it, let's put it together and see what it looks like. So here it is all put together and I am really, really happy with the fit up. So you guys can see with the backspacer fits up nice and tight. Uh, I made sure to get this as flat as possible on the insides of the scale so that nothing is really interfered with with, uh, with all the moving parts. Because I know with some cold steels if, if things aren't in the right place or the right holes you tend to fight it a little bit but really, really happy with how this turned out. There is the pocket clip side. And as you guys saw from the customizing part of the video, I did contour the scales, so it does fit better in hand. And I did add a nice beveled edge around the pivots, so it matches up with how deep it is countersunk. And the reason why I made these a little bit thicker, not only to keep the strength there in the scales, since the old scales were G10, and I didn't want to risk making the scales too thin, where they're too they're just too bendy or flexible. Uh, I'm really surprised with how strong this micarta is. So just really happy about that. But as you guys noticed, there are no more stop pins visible. So I did, I did countersink the holes. I didn't go all the way through. That way you can hide it and just make it look a lot cleaner, which I'm really happy with how that turned out. And here is the custom backspacer. Since the my card is going at a different angle, you actually get a cooler pattern going against just the regular pattern there. And there is the lanyard hole that Mr. Slash was wanting. I hope this works, and again, I hope this doesn't break, but if it does, he can just send it my way. And as you guys can see, I did crown the spine of the backspacer. That way, when you are holding it in hand, it's not, it's not annoying or uncomfortable. And again, just gives it that Italian finish, as you see on most of 
the Italian knives being manufactured at the moment. And of course it does function. So it's not drop shutty. Maybe it needs to break in since I put those new washers. But as you guys can see, it does create a wider gap and it's just I think it's just a lot better. The action is a lot more uh, smoother, I guess you could say. The old ones just, that, that space was just so tight. It was just, it just felt kind of weird. So again, really happy with how it turned out and it's already breaking in. So as you guys can see, it's the blade is dropping a lot easier. And there is the Cold Steel Storm Cloud for Mr. Jimmy Slash. So as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.